morning, Tonopah. Welcome to the TVHS News for the week of April 27th, 2015. My name's Jackie. And I'm Rayleigh. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. The car company BMW will recall 91,800 Mini Coopers because of a faulty sensor that might not trigger the front passenger airbag during a crash. The sensor might not register someone sitting in the front seat. On Sunday, April 19th, at the Big Titan Steak Ranch, a 124-pound mother of four named Molly Schuster scarfed down three 72-ounce steaks, three baked potatoes, three sized salads, three rolls, and three shrimp cocktails all in 20 minutes. She set a new record for the contents, out-eating football players and pro wrestlers. She is not your typical 35-year-old mother. She is a professional competitive eating circuit. Here's Ryan with the sports. Hey there, Tonopah. Kicking off this week with the NBA playoffs, the Atlanta Hawks versus the Brooklyn Nets in Game 4 at Brooklyn. The Memphis Grizzlies versus Portland Trailblazers at Portland for Game 4, and the Milwaukee Bucks versus Chicago Bulls in Chicago. For and for MLB, there are quite a few teams still having a good season, but not for the Diamondbacks, so anything can happen. So, and also the D-backs play Colorado Rockets. That's right. Now here's your weather. Good morning, Tonopah. Our local weather will be in the mid-80s to low-90s, with lows that will be in the mid to high-50s. In national news, there is a big storm converging in the northeast from Michigan to Maine. The storm will have an abundance of rain and damaging wind and hail. That is all for your national and local weather, Tonopah. Have a great week. Sounds like Tonopah. Now here's Nayeli with the Word of the Week. Hi, welcome back to another Word of the Week. My name is Nayeli, and today's word is anachronism. Anachronism is a noun, and it means anything occurring or existing out of its proper time. This is how you can use it in a sentence. The story which tells how the two went out one morning to dance around the Tree of Liberty in a meadow is anachronism, though in keeping with their opinions. Come back next week for another Word of the Week. Thanks, Nayeli. <laughs> now let's hop through the rabbit hole with Alex for Alex to Wonderland. Hello to a new fun fact. Uh, did you know that the notorious B.I.G., Jay-Z, and D.M.X., and Busta Rhymes all went to the same high school at the same time? What? Thanks, Alex. Now here's Bodie with the top five. Hello, Tonopa. I am Sean here with your top five for this week, and I'm filling in for Bodie because he couldn't do it this week. So at five for your top five sports, we have volleyball. At four, we have baseball. At Three, we have boxing, two, basketball, and number one, my favorite and everybody's favorite, football. There's your top five. Come back next week for more. Thanks, Bodie. Now here's Becca with the app tip of the week. Hi, I'm Becca, and a new app for you guys to check out is called Elevate. It'll help improve your mental capacity. Come back next week for another app tip. Thanks, Becca. Now here's Andy with your weekly lunch menu. Hello Tonpa, Andy Carter is here with your delicious and nutritious lunch menu for this week. Start off the week with a Chicago style hot dog with some fries and get jalapeno hot dog with onions, tomatoes, peppers, and jalapenos. Continue Mission Impossible on Tuesday with spaghetti and meatballs, vegetables, and be ready for a breadstick. Don't chicken out of having Wednesday's chicken fajitas with tortillas, rice, onions, and peppers. Join the queue on Thursday to have some barbecue chicken with beans, corn, and a biscuit. On Friday, you may want to arrive to have Obaz corn pollo via tortilla, beans, peas, as well as carrots. If none of these fit your fancy, feast on either a cheeseburger or a chicken sandwich on any day that ends in Y. If you want to pizza it, pepperoni pizza is served daily, with the variations, each one topping the last, served throughout the week. Sounds good, Andy. Now let's go on to last with Mr. Lefevers. Hey, good morning. It's Monday morning, February, February, March. Heck, it's April already. We're like in the, in, in baseball, we would call these like the dog days of August. So I guess we're in the dog days of April. And so I'm going to give you five real quick. See, look, I'm so tired, I don't even know. Five quick little things. One's a little bit long, so you're going to have to think. But I know we're getting close. I know there's like 19 days of school left for those of us who are not seniors and are coming back next year. So here we go, like going from five to four, or maybe it's five to one. I'm not sure, but here you go, okay? If you want something you never had, you have to do something you've never done. That makes sense, okay? Number two, 
the more people would learn from their mistakes that they weren't so busy denying them. Hold yourself accountable. The secret to change is to focus all your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building on the new. Okay, that's a very important one. Number four, you, can, you can't cheat to grind. Okay, in baseball we talk about grinding it out. You get to the dog days of August, it's hot, it's humid, you got to grind it out. In, in, in school, I guess, we get to April, it's hot, it's springtime, you want to get to the end, you got to grind it out. So here you go. You can't cheat to grind. It knows how hard, how hard you have worked, the effort that you put in, and the time that you've dedicated towards it. It won't give you anything that you haven't worked for. You can't cheat to grind. And finally, you can either go cry in the truck or you can cowboy up. Have a good week. Thanks, Miss Little Fevers. Now here's Kirby with Kirby's Corner. Kirby's Corner. That's me. Good morning, Tonopod. Welcome back to one of our four remaining episodes for the year. If you guys haven't yet noticed, we have a donation box that is in the parking lot. That is for all clothing, any household go goods, shoes, purses, whatever you've got. Feel free to drop it in there. Uh, that is a fundraiser for the school, and the money does come back to us. So, clean out your closets, get rid of some old stuff, and donate to community members in need. Tuesday, which is tomorrow, the AZ Merit Math will be starting at 8 a.m. So do not report to your first hour classes. Report directly to your testing rooms. Check your emails for your room locations, okay? It is different from where you took the writing. So if you're taking Algebra 1, Geometry, or Algebra 2 this semester, you are taking the AZ Merit Math Test. So, report directly to your testing room, read my email. On Wednesday, we have the AZ Merit Reading. Now for that one, you will report to the same room for which you tested in the writing, okay? Again, that is in my email. If you have questions, let me know right away. But, Tuesday's the math, Wednesday's the reading. Make sure you are here, please. Uh, furthermore, on Wednesday, we have one of our last few softball games, so come out, support your team, let's, let's help them end strong. Thursday, if any of you out there would like to help out a communi community member with getting her yard cleaned up, the ambassadors are going over there for just a couple hours after school, so if you'd like to help, please send me your name and I will get you the information you need. Friday, you guys, everybody, I know it's time that you mark this on your calendar for the ambassadors' last movie night of the year. We will be showing Mockingjay Part 1. So, we've already shown the first two of the Hunger Games movies that have been released, and now this is the third. It's a really good show, so come out and support us. Doors open at 4, movie starts at 4.30. Next week, coming up, you have the ACT and SAT registration deadlines on May 8th. Juniors, if you have not yet registered to take one of these tests, you need to. And then furthermore, the AP Lit test for uh, several seniors will be on May 6th. That is a Wednesday. You need to be here at 8, okay? I will talk to you guys in your classes, but just a reminder, May 6th for AP Lit, and then Friday, May 8th for AP US History. Those all start at 8 a.m., so make sure you're on time. All right, Tony Paul, that's all I have for you this week. Have a great one. Thanks, Ms. Kirby. Now on to the FFA Weekly News. Hello, Tony Paul. I'm Mini, your FFA president. And I'm Marissa, your FFA reporter, here to bring you your weekly FFA update. Any first or second semester students who think they have obtained their degree in hand or chapter degree need to email Kayla Means by Monday. The FFA banquet is on April 30th, so if you are a first or second ag student, you need to have already signed up on the door in Mr. Reese's room, room 306. Do so by Tuesday, April 27th. Put your name and how many people you are going to be bringing. For example, Jack Hines plus two. You'll receive your invitation on the following Wednesday. Students who sign up at the door get into the banquet free along with two family members of their choice. Any extra people you invite must pay $5 at the door. Thanks, Tonopa. Join us next week for another FFA Weekly Update. Thanks, ladies. Now here's Nayeli with a special announcement. So what inspired you to be a teacher? Uh, I guess it's just somebody, I've always looked up to teachers. They've always been role models, especially coaches. Um, I've tried to go and do other things, but it's always come back to teaching and just what I love. What do you hope to achieve by being a teacher? Uh, just make a positive influence on students' lives, be a positive role model, and just better the society that we live in. So how are you like as a student? Um, great. <laughs> I, no, uh, my freshman year I was terrible. I was a terrible student. I, I was a straight D student. Um, I, I just, the grades weren't that important to me. <clears throat> Luckily through athletics, 
Um, I realized that my grades were important and I had to continue to do better and get them up. And then uh, I I finished um, my high school career with uh, 3.0, so very close to it, somewhere around there. How would you describe yourself? <laughs> Laid back, easy going. Um, I can be kind of shy. <laughs> I know that might be hard for some people to believe, but it's the truth. Congratulations, Coach Garretts. Thank you for watching the TVHS News. And remember, be safe, be responsible, and be respectful in everything that you do. Keep it real, Tony Fox.